the only time I left this point of view, in essence, was when Ilya Kazan was being given a Life Achievement Award. Um, I had originally instinctively backed it, and then I went, whoa. And I wrote an op-ed for the LA Times, and I said, if Ely Kazan had not been handed already eight Oscars for best film, best director, best whatever, I might have some uh, patience for this, but I don't. And um, it was said that uh, people held it against him because of his anti-communist crusade. And I say his anti-communist crusade lasted as long as his testimony, period. Mm -hmm. And that he was a serial betrayer. He not only betrayed the other members of the Communist Party that he was a member with, but he betrayed Stella Adler and Lee Strasberg when he went to Moscow and came back with the word. Yeah. And he betrayed all of the people who supported him financially and not and non-financially, was on his side for the 30 years after he decided to retire from the film business. He wrote a, a memoir. And in that memoir, he told of how he had had adulterous affairs with the wives of all the men who had supported him for 30 years. And the first time they ever knew about it was when they read it in the book. What a way to reveal it. Jesus. Sitting across from your wife. You read uh, that book and your eyes go up and I say, this guy is a serial betrayer. And I said, if I was gonna be there, and I'm not because I'm shooting, but if I was, I would be sitting on my hands because he does not deserve to have his moral character endorsed. Sure. He has none. And Henry Luce, who owned and ran Time Magazine and mm-hmm. Life Magazine, he hated him so much, and Luce was a right-wing crazo, right? Well, he hated Kazan so much that the week of his testimony, there used to be a department called Miscellany, Okay. And he moved, Luce moved Miscellany to the front page of the magazine that week. So that right in the middle of the front page it said, Last week in executive session at the Waldorf Astoria Hotel, Ilya Gadj Kazan, Cinemaker, named 226 members of the Communist Party. Period. And then left the subject. And so you know, and I'll tell you, mm-hmm. he didn't have to name anybody. They'd all been named. He just did it. Right. So he could be in on it. Right. He was, right. Yeah. and who he, who he bamboozled were the other members of the guild, the actors, who had been just as basically betrayed by him as if he had named them by name. Yeah. He was the greatest director of his generation. And he didn't have to speak or name anybody. But he, he just liked it. Yeah. 